The former Italian Prime Minister Enrico Letta, on whose watch India had cancelled the scam-tainted Augusta Westland helicopter deal, has said that the defence scandal has actually hurt the competitiveness of the Italian defence companies. In an exclusive interview to Vion in New Delhi, Letta has said that the underlying message in all his contacts with India was that the independence of judiciary has to be respected. Remember, the Augusta Westland helicopter scam, in fact, came to light a few weeks before Letta's inauguration as Italy's Prime Minister. Now, at the time, Enrico Letta had said that he also had to deal with the fallout of the Enrico Lexi case involving the arrest of two Italian Navy personnel who were jailed in India for killing two Indian fishermen. The letter tells Vion that his government has adopted, had adopted a clear and a constructive approach with India and he hopes that Italy-India ties will continue to grow in spite of the Augusta Westland scandal and that the Italian Marines case and these two issues will not hamper the relationship between the two nations. First and foremost is the overarching issue of uh, corruption which is, you know, which is a big uh, debate back home here in India. And one of the issues is the Augusta Westland defense helicopter scam, which, uh, which came to light before you actually inaug were inaugurated in uh, April 2013. But it was in the news throughout those uh, 300 days which, when you, your government was in power. Could, I, could you give us a sense of the kind of interactions you or your government might have had with your Indian counterparts, the then Indian counterparts here in Delhi, on this entire defense scam issue. Can you throw some light on what those uh, discussions it, were like? It is very simple and very clear. Uh, we respect the in total independence of uh, judges and uh, uh, we think that judges are completely independent. They have to work. They worked in a completely independent way. In Italy they decided third degree and the decision was a uh, a final decision, a positive decision for uh, what happened there. So uh, I'm very happy of the way in which we respected since the beginning these decisions. It was of course a big problem for Italian competitiveness. Uh, Italian company lost a lot from this situation but I think at the end of the day the respect for the independence of judges is always the best way and this is why I, I, my dealing was on, 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 on with this mood and we always had with the Indian counterpart a very clear approach and I say also a very constructive approach by saying that uh, we respect the independence of judges and I'm sure that at the end of the day uh, the decision will be the best decision for, for all, for Italy, for India and for competitiveness of both countries. Now, months after this defense scam came to light, specifically in January 2014, while your government was still in power in Italy, Indian government decided to cancel the contract. Now, do you recall having any conversation at all at your level, at your ministerial level, with India on this entire controversy? No, because it was uh, at the end of my period, so we were uh, I, I was. No, this happened in January, and you demoted office in February, twenty second. Uh, so fourteen. No, no, no. Yeah, twenty fourteen. Yeah, but in January twenty, uh, yeah, this was. No, uh, I was. I was out of my. But but, uh, the key point is that I always said, in all the contacts to the Indian uh, authorities, that we. Uh, think that the dependence of, of justice is fundamental and has to be preserved. That was my point and I always said to them even if uh, you know very well there was this problem and there was also the problem of the Marines we always said Italy and India are two big powers in the world we have to cooperate we have to work together so I always tried to give the idea that uh, our bilateral cooperation has to continue because we are two big countries, we respect each other and we think that we can have a common and very positive fruitful cooperation and I hope now the situation is better, I hope in the future this cooperation will grow up and I'm sure that uh, I hope these words can help. 
Now, you said the cooperation must continue from both countries on this, uh, on overcoming some of these challenges, but what kind of cooperation can Italy actually or is willing to provide to the Indian counterparts so that there is closure here in India as well? Because this is an outstanding issue which has been bedeviling the Indian polity for many, many years now. And there seems to be a desire to for closure in this uh, one of the many scams that's you know dogged the Indian polity. So, what kind of cooperation, collaboration can you possibly envisage between India and Italy under the current circumstances? But you know, uh, we can't consider that this topic is the only topic of the relationship between India and Italy. India and Italy are in the G20. We are among the ten most important countries in the world two big manufacturing industries, cultural powers, both. This is why I say, I think and I strongly hope, and my visit here also to uh, give a contribution in that direction, I strongly hope, I strongly believe that these two countries, they have more in common than the problems we had in, in the last six, seven years. Catch the full interview with these times on Wheel World is One.